you'll find that it is a big jump from GCSE and your timetable is a lot more jam-packed than what it was a year ago. It can be difficult to adjust to, but just make sure that you're planning your time well. Make sure that you're meeting all your deadlines for assignments and for exams. Also start thinking about what sort of things you want to put in your personal statement. I know it seems as though it's quite far away at this point but it will come by really quickly so I think it's good to make a bullet point list of all your skills and things that you gain throughout the year that you feel will help you being a good medical student. So if you've not got a draft of your personal statement yet, um, you know, dedicate some time whether it's a weekend or an evening, just sit down and, and write your personal statement and once you've got that draft, send this draft to, to everyone you can think of. Send it to your teachers, send it to your mum, your dad, um, you know, send it to your mum's friend. Um, you know, even if they've not applied to university themselves, they can just give you advice on, oh, this sentence doesn't sound right, or you've made a spelling mistake here, or I don't understand what this means. Um, and that advice is really invaluable. Be really actively involved in something that you're passionate about at school or outside of school groups. For example, you know, singing groups, sports groups, or volunteering. During this period, consider enrichments, things like first aid, or instructor courses for training, or being a part of volunteer services for healthcare, and really, really give a big priority to your work experience and your personal statement. Often people leave their work experience too late, and then it becomes very clear when an admissions tutor is looking at your personal statement or your application, and it says that you've only had two weeks of work experience in a particular place and that sincerity isn't really there. This is a really good time to be going to open days, thinking about where you want to go and then making sure that you're up to date with their entry requirements for each specific medical school. It's also a great chance to talk to some students that are at the university so you can ask them any questions you like and they'll always be there to help you. Although I live in Manchester, I did do a work ex week of work experience at UCL, which is the University College of London, and there I stayed in student accommodation for a week, and I also went and had a look at some surgeries and spent some time with the doctors, and it was a really good opportunity to network with some professionals. These courses can be expensive, but through your schools and your colleges, you can actually get grants, which means that they pay for you to go. So make sure you have a ring around and also ring the universities and ask them if they have any grants available for students who are wanting to attend these work experience programmes but don't necessarily have the means to afford them and they'll always be able to help you. There are things that you have to do to get apply for university to do medicine such as UKCAT and BMAT and it's just being aware of them. And there's a specific UKCAT website as well that you can have a look at and practice for the test as well as book yourself in. It is a difficult test, you have to think on your feet a lot, but there are ways to prepare for it. There are certain, certain books and information online that you can use to practice and it's more about practicing the speed and practicing working, working under pressure. Apply um, to actually sit the exam uh, within your summer because as you go along it gets a lot more expensive so you'd rather want to get that out of the way. Some people actually miss the deadline. The deadline can be quite short and it's quite early on to actually apply for the UK CAT. I do know friends that have said that their studying made a big difference on the UK CAT. So if certainly if you imagine how much you have to do between your personal statement, your work experience and UK CAT, it's a very busy year so you really need to manage your time well. A lot of uh, medical schools across the country, especially from Manchester Medical School, they have a access programmes. Now, these are programmes which will usually give you a guaranteed interview and a reduced uh, A-level requirement. And these are really helpful in introducing you to really what medical schools do, uh, what university is, ways in which they learn. And it introduces really to what a career in medicine is and what it's all about. MAP was incredible. I think MAP was probably one of the best things about college for me. I made a lot of friends in MAP, I learnt a lot and it really prepared me for university. It gave me a lot of opportunities I would not have had otherwise and I don't think I'm pushing it by saying I probably wouldn't be here if it wasn't for MAP. If MAP is available to you, don't throw away a golden opportunity like that. Make sure you take the chance and get involved with MAP.